geologist by background and I've worked in the, uh, in the mining and petroleum industries for over 30 years, uh, both for industry as well as for government. In New South Wales, around 5% of our gas supply is now coming from coal seam gas. Coal seam gas by itself is methane. Many people think that somehow it's different to the gas they're utilising at home, but it's not, it's no different. Methane is non-toxic, and in fact, coal seam gas is a very, very clean source of gas. It does not contain many of the higher hydrocarbons, which many people are concerned about because of their potential carcinogenic or cancer-causing properties. The fracking for coal seam gas is not, as many people think, creating major fracture zones that extend up from the coal seams into aquifer systems. In fact, that would be the last thing that people would want to do. Fracking is designed to stay within the coal seam. Close to the bore well, the fractures might be only a few centimetres wide, and where it rapidly thins to only a few millimetres wide. You do not leave very large fractures to actually extract the gas. And in fact, it's more of an opening up of natural fractures within the coal than creating major new fracture zones around it. In order to get the gas to flow, the fractures within the coal seams are normally filled with water, and the methane within coal is actually absorbed onto the coal. It's actually stuck to the coal particles. It doesn't exist as a free gas. The best way I can describe it is if you open a bottle of champagne, uh, you basically, before you open it, you don't see any bubbles of carbon dioxide in the champagne. But when you open it, you suddenly depressurise that bottle and you see a whole lot of gas escaping as bubbles from the champagne. The same principles apply to coal seam gas. Many of the chemicals that are used in fracking are actually very benign and are in common use in many households. Companies need to ensure that when conducting exploration or putting in coal seam gas production facilities, they actually address all of landholders and the community concerns as part of that to ensure that coal seam gas operation is seen as part of the community and not foreign to it.